Welcome to today's video about garlic alone doesn't work. Add this to kill inflammation. Let me begin with a simple but important question. If you've been eating garlic every day thinking you're protecting yourself from inflammation, I need to tell you something that might completely change how you use this powerful food. Garlic is remarkable, but here's what most people don't know. Your body struggles to absorb most of garlic's healing compounds. It's like pouring water into a leaky bucket. You're getting some benefit, but losing most of it. And if you're over 50, dealing with joint pain that won't go away, waking up stiff every morning or feeling constant brain fog, your body might be sending warning signals that chronic inflammation is taking hold. Today, I'm gonna to show you what happens when you combine uh, garlic with one simple kitchen ingredient most people already have. This combination doesn't just reduce inflammation, it helps your body actually absorb garlic's protective compounds in a way that garlic alone cannot achieve. This isn't about supplements or complicated protocols. This is about understanding how two everyday foods work together based on real scientific research. Stay with me because what I'm about to share comes from peer-reviewed studies published in journals like Planomedica and research from institutions including Oregon State University's Lioness Pauling Institute. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why garlic alone isn't enough, what you need to add to multiply its benefits, and the three critical mistakes that destroy garlic's healing properties before they reach your bloodstream. I'm a health educator who researches evidence-based approaches to chronic disease. I don't sell supplements. What I share is rooted in peer-reviewed research that you can verify yourself. Let me start with something you need to understand about inflammation. According to Harvard Medical School, chronic inflammation plays a central role in the most challenging diseases of our time, rheumatoid arthritis, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's, and asthma disease. Here's what makes chronic inflammation so dangerous. Acute inflammation, when you cut your finger or twist your ankle, is good. It's your body healing itself. You see redness, swelling, heat. That's your immune system doing its job. But chronic inflammation is completely different. It's like a fire alarm that never stops ringing. Your immune system stays on high alert constantly, releasing inflammatory chemicals even when there's no real threat. Research published in Nature Review's Immunology shows that chronic inflammation disrupts communication between brain cells, damages the lining of blood vessels, and breaks down cartilage in your joints. This is why people with chronic inflammation often develop multiple health problems at once. The Massachusetts General Hospital Center for Immunology and Inflammatory Diseases explains that inflammation isn't confined to one area. It travels throughout your body causing problems. If you get arthritis or heart disease, chronic inflammation is likely a major contributor. Here's the important part. Inflammation is highly responsive to what you eat. Your diet can either fuel the fire or help put it out. That's where garlic comes in, but only if you use it correctly. Uh, Garlic has been studied extensively for its anti-inflammatory properties. Research published in the Journal of Immunology Research found that garlic compounds can reduce pro-inflammatory molecules in your body, including TNF-alpha, IL-1-beta, IL-6, and other cytoins that drive chronic inflammation. The active compound in garlic is called allicin. According to a comprehensive review in Science Direct, Allison exhibits anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antimicrobial, and cardioprotective properties. But here's the critical problem most people don't know about. Allison is extremely unstable and poorly absorbed by your body. The Lioness Polling Institute at Oregon State University explains that when you crush or chop garlic, Allison forms rapidly within 10 to 60 seconds, but it also breaks down just as quickly. Research shows that allicin has a half-life of about 2.5 days in crushed garlic at room temperature, but in your digestive system, it degrades much faster. Your body simply cannot absorb most of it before it breaks down into other compounds. This is why studies on garlic supplementation show inconsistent results. Some people benefit significantly while others see little improvement, the difference often comes down to bioavailability, how much of the active compound actually makes it into your bloodstream where it can work, 
Additionally, your liver has enzymes designed to break down and eliminate foreign compounds, including beneficial ones like allicin. This is called first pass metabolism. And it's one of the main reasons why eating garlic uh, doesn't always translate into measurable health benefits. So the question becomes, how do you get around this absorption problem? How do you help your body actually use garlic's powerful anti-inflammatory compounds instead of just eliminating them? The answer is black pepper. Black pepper contains a compound called piperine, and piperine changes everything about how your body handles beneficial compounds from food. According to research published in Critical Reviews in Food Science and Nutrition, piperine is what's called a bioavailability enhancer. It helps your body absorb and use nutrients more effectively. Here's how it works. Piperine inhibits enzymes in your liver and intestines that normally break down beneficial compounds. It also affects the structure of your intestinal wall, making it more permeable to nutrients. Research published in the journal Phytomedicine shows that piperine modulates membrane dynamics in your intestines, essentially helping nutrients pass through more easily. A landmark study published in Planta Medica by researchers Shoa and colleagues tested what happens when you combine piperine with other beneficial compounds. In humans, when 2G of a beneficial compound was given alone, blood levels were either undetectable or very low. But when the same dose was given with just 20 milligrams of piperine, bioavailability increased by 2,000%. That's not a typo. Piperine increased bioavailability by 154% with similar findings across multiple research papers. Now let me be clear. Most research on piperine and bioavailability has focused on curcumin from turmeric, not garlic specifically. However, the mechanism by which piperine works inhibiting metabolic enzymes and enhancing intestinal absorption applies broadly to many beneficial plant compounds, including organosulfur compounds from garlic. Think of it this way, piperine doesn't just add a little extra benefit, it fundamentally changes how your body processes and uses these compounds, and you need only a tiny amount to see this effect. Let me explain this in simple terms using an analogy. Imagine your digestive system is like a security checkpoint at an airport. Your body has strict rules about what gets through. Garlic's beneficial compounds are like passengers trying to board a plane, but your liver and intestines are security guards whose job is to check everything and remove most foreign substances. Without piperine, most of garlic's allicin and organosulfur compounds get stopped at security, broken down, and sent back before they ever reach your bloodstream. Maybe 10 to 15% gets through. Now add piperine from black pepper. Piperine is like having a VIP pass. It tells those security enzymes to slow down, to let more compounds through. Suddenly, instead of 10, 15% getting through, you might get 40%, 60%, or even more. Additionally, Piperine itself has anti-inflammatory properties. Research published in the journal Molecules found that piperine inhibits the production of inflammatory molecules in the body and possesses antioxidant activity. So you're not just enhancing garlic's effects, you're adding another layer of anti-inflammatory protection. Here's what happens in your body when you combine garlic and black pepper. The piperine slows down the enzymes in your liver that normally metabolize and eliminate allicin. This gives the allicin more time to circulate in your bloodstream. Piperine enhances absorption in your intestines by affecting the cell membranes, making them more permeable to beneficial compounds. Both compounds work synergistically on inflammatory pathways. Garlic's organosulfur compounds target one set of inflammatory molecules while piperine targets others. The result is a more powerful, longer-lasting anti-inflammatory effect than either ingredient could produce alone. This is why traditional medicine systems like Ayurveda have combined black pepper with other herbs for thousands of years. Now, before I show you exactly how to use this combination, you need to know about three mistakes that completely destroy garlic's benefits. Mistake number one, using garlic powder or pre-minced garlic from a jar. Here's what research published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry found. When garlic is crushed or chopped fresh, 
An enzyme called alanase converts a compound called alan into allicin. This reaction only happens when these two substances come into contact. But in garlic powder or jarred garlic, that enzyme has been destroyed by processing. The study tested different forms of garlic. Fresh crushed garlic had the highest allicin content. Garlic powder had almost none. Pre-minced garlic in jars also showed minimal beneficial compounds. You're getting garlic flavor, but almost none of the medicinal benefit. Mistake number two, cooking garlic immediately after chopping. According to research from the American Chemical Society presented at their national meeting, you must allow crushed garlic to sit for 10 minutes before cooking. When you crush garlic, the allicin enzyme needs time to work. Allicin formation reaches completion within 10 to 60 seconds, but the compounds need to stabilize. If you immediately throw chopped garlic into a hot pan, the heat destroys the allicin enzyme before it can finish its work. The Linus Pauling Institute confirms that heat inactivates allicin enzyme activity. The study found that garlic that was chopped and allowed to rest before cooking retains significantly more beneficial compounds than garlic cooked immediately. Mistake number three, taking too much or combining with the wrong foods. High doses of raw garlic can irritate your stomach lining and garlic's anti-inflammatory benefits are reduced when combined with high sugar or processed foods because sugar promotes inflammation. Here's exactly what you need to do to get maximum benefit from this combination. The basic principle, use fresh garlic, crush, or finely chop it, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Add freshly ground black pepper, then use it raw or cook it briefly at the end of cooking. Method one, garlic, pepper, olive oil. Crush two cloves of fresh garlic using a garlic press or the flat side of a knife, let them sit exposed to air for 10 to 15 minutes. Mix with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and add one quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Drizzle this over steamed vegetables, salads, or whole grain bread. Method two, garlic pepper infusion. Crush one to two cloves of garlic. Let sit for 10 minutes. Add to a cup of warm, not boiling water with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice and a pinch of black pepper. Some people add a small amount of raw honey. This isn't the most delicious drink, but it delivers garlic's compounds in their most potent form. Method three, add to cooked meals. Prepare your meal normally. When it's almost done, crush your garlic, let it rest for 10 minutes. Then add it to your dish during the last two to three minutes of cooking. Add black pepper right at the end. This method works great for soups, stir fries, and roasted vegetables. Dosage, one to two cloves of fresh garlic per day is sufficient for most people. You need only a pinch of black pepper, about one eighth to one quarter teaspoon to enhance absorption. The benefits of combining garlic and black pepper extend beyond inflammation. Research published in Nutrition Research found that garlic consumption is associated with lower blood pressure and improved cholesterol levels. Studies show it can reduce LDL or bad cholesterol and triglycerides while supporting cardiovascular health. According to a study in molecules, black pepper and piperine improve digestive function, enhance nutrient absorption across the board, and support brain health. Research in the Journal of Medicinal Food suggests that piperine may help protect against neurodegenerative diseases by reducing oxidative stress in the brain. The Linus Pauling Institute reports that garlic's organosulfur compounds increase glutathione, your body's master antioxidant, and protect cells from oxidative damage. This is particularly important for brain health, cardiovascular protection, and healthy aging. Studies also show that garlic enhances immune function. Research published in the Journal of Immunology Research found that garlic stimulates natural killer cells, increases interferon gamma production, and helps regulate immune response. When you combine garlic's immune-supporting properties with piperine's ability to enhance absorption, you're creating a powerful tool for supporting your body's natural defenses. Additionally, both garlic and black pepper support healthy gut bacteria. Your gut microbiome plays a crucial role in inflammation. Beneficial gut bacteria produce compounds that reduce inflammation, while harmful bacteria can promote it. Garlic acts as a prebiotic, 
feeding good bacteria, while black pepper's antimicrobial properties help maintain healthy microbial balance. All of this comes from real food. No prescriptions, no expensive supplements, no complex protocols, just two simple ingredients used intelligently based on scientific understanding of how they work in your body. I need to be very clear. This is not medical advice. This is not a cure for any disease. This is educational information about food and nutrition. If you have a serious inflammatory condition like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or inflammatory bowel disease, you must work with your doctor. Do not stop taking prescribed medications. What garlic and black pepper can do is support your body naturally. Think of it as preventive maintenance and complementary support, not primary treatment. Important considerations. Garlic has blood thinning properties. If you take anticoagulant medications like warfarin, aspirin, or clopidogrel, talk to your doctor before significantly increasing garlic intake. Combining garlic with these medications could increase bleeding risk. Some people are sensitive to raw garlic. If you have acid reflux, gastritis, or irritable bowel syndrome, start with small amounts. You may need to use cooked garlic instead of raw. Black pepper is generally safe in culinary amounts, but very high doses can cause digestive irritation in sensitive individuals. If you're scheduled for surgery, stop consuming large amounts of garlic at least two weeks before due to its blood thinning effects. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should consult their healthcare provider before using garlic in medicinal amounts, though normal culinary use is generally considered safe. The key principle is moderation and consistency. Small amounts daily are more effective and safer than occasional large doses. This approach works best as part of an overall anti-inflammatory lifestyle that includes whole foods, regular movement, stress management, and adequate sleep. Chronic inflammation is at the root of many serious health problems. Your body has incredible ability to heal itself when you give it the right tools. Garlic is one of the most powerful, natural, anti-inflammatory foods available, but your body struggles to absorb its beneficial compounds. Black pepper solves this by enhancing bioavailability and adding its own anti-inflammatory properties. You don't need expensive supplements or complicated protocols. You need fresh garlic, properly prepared, combined with black pepper. The three keys, use fresh garlic, crush it and wait 10 to 15 minutes before using. Add freshly ground black pepper to enhance absorption. Be consistent. Small amounts daily work better than occasional large doses. This isn't about perfection. It's about making one simple change that supports your body's natural anti-inflammatory mechanisms. Now, I want to hear from you. If this information helped you, type yes in the comments below and tell me where you're watching from. I love hearing from people around the world taking charge of their health. Share this video with someone who deals with chronic inflammation or joint pain. You might be giving them information that changes their life. Why does this matter for your health, weight, focus, and longevity? Because chronic inflammation underpins stubborn fat, low energy, joint pain, and cognitive decline. When you target the root causes rather than chasing symptoms, you give your body the tools to heal itself naturally. Garlic alone is a spark, but the combination with lemon is the fire hose that actually puts out the deeper flames. Here is the challenge I want to leave you with. Try just one of these changes today. Prepare the garlic and lemon combination as I have described. Crush one clove of garlic, let it rest 10 minutes, mix with fresh lemon juice and warm water, and take it alongside a meal. Notice how your